Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled and honored to introduce the next commissioner of the Canadian Football League, Jeffrey Orridge. Thank you, Jim. And that was the handoff. Jeffrey Orridge was named as the next commissioner of the Canadian Football League. He'll replace Mark Cohan next month. Orridge was the executive director of CBC Sports. He joins me now in studio. In fact, when I woke up this morning, you were the executive director of <laughs> CBC Sports. Or so we all thought. This was a shock. Well, you know, it, it's, it's amazing that I'm going from one quintessentially Canadian uh, iconic brand to another. Yeah, so, especially since um, you were born in New York. Yeah, well, you know what? I was born in New York, but... Uh, but I've been in Canada for over eight years now and in my family and I have decided to make this our home and and we started that uh, the citizenship application process years and years ago and you know how long this may take so literally any day now I will be sworn in as a as as a true Canadian but this is my home and I've been a Canadian at heart for a long time I, I love this country and I love everything about it and yeah. And so we're comfortable here, and we plan to make this, you know, our home for the rest of our lives. So this it's great. This was a veil of secrecy over this announcement. Why? Well, you know, I, I, <laughs> because I think, we're loudmouths at the well, CBC, no, we can't just, keep a secret. I, you know, I just think for a number of reasons that that you you always want to protect um, yeah. pr protect whoever is a candidate in, in in the mix, and that you know there are a number of things that go into it, and and certainly um, you know it's a big announcement. So they wanted to make sure that that everything was buttoned up and all the eyes were dotted and the t's were crossed, and uh, and it's it's huge, and and it's huge for. Um, for everything that, that, that we plan to do going forward. So, what do you um, plan to do going forward? What's the big thing? You know, the, the, the big thing is, is growing the game, um, building the brand, and making sure that this is the best um, audience experience ever, right? I mean, it's, it's got to be a fan-first focus, um, and that's what we intend to do, mm -hmm. and everything we can to enhance the quality of the game and enhance the quality of the experience with the fans in mind first, that, that, that's our job, that's our task. And, and I don't think there's any place better suited for that opportunity than, than with the CFL. I mean, this is a brand that, that connects Canadians. I mean, this is connective tissue for, for Canada. You know, that the teams um, create communities and, and, and the Great Cup um, unites a nation. Mm. Speaking of uh, the brand and going forward, where's the flagship team going to play in two years? <laughs> well, you know, I haven't been privy to those conversations, but mm. but certainly that's a priority that mm. that that Toronto, the Argonauts, uh, find a, a, a more suitable home, um, and certainly one that uh, that is more, um, I guess. Uh, Fan friendly in that you can create that kind of energy and, and vibrancy w within a, a probably a smaller venue um, and a more compatible venue. Why do you think that the last venue didn't work? What's your analysis of that? Well, just like anybody else who's a layperson and an observer, um, I think you know the, just the stadium was too large for 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 what they were trying to do. Is that the, the speak to the challenge though of making bringing the CFL, making it more popular and bringing more fans, creating putting more bums in seats, as they say? Well, yeah, that well, that's, that's always a challenge. But you know, if you look at what happened with with the expansion team last year um, in Ottawa, where they sold out every game, I think there's there's clearly an appetite for the CFL. Uh, live sports is is a premium. Um, live sports is actually an ultra premium when it comes to content. And whether you're in the stadium or or watching it on on broadcast or 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 on your iPad or or on your your smartphone. Um, the idea is to garner more engagement for the fan and, and have them, you know, be um, at a stage where they're, it's a must-see event, you know, whether you can make it to the stadium or, or you can't. And really, the only reason why you'd want to watch it anywhere else is because you can't get a ticket. Right. The, one of the other questions I want to ask you about before I let you go is that is one of the reasons a lot of people show up, you know, is because of guys like this, like Ricky Ray and John Cornish. Sure. And John Cornish last year missed half the season. Ricky Ray also missed a great deal of time because of concussions. Uh, we just heard Chris Borland quitting the NFL at the age of 24 uh, for safety reasons. He didn't want to take the chance of a concussion. He thinks he might have had one in the past, doesn't want to wait for the symptoms. I mean, what is that one of the challenges? of the CFL as well, looking after the safety of their players going forward? Yeah, well, I think health and safety is, is a primary concern for the CFL. 
um, and they've, they've been addressing it and they'll continue to address it, but it's not unique to the CFL. The NFL, um, hockey, even soccer, and soccer is not traditionally a contact sport, but, but there's always a risk of concussion. And so what, what we're all focused on is making sure that, that there are enough safeguards in place and we look after, after the athletes who participate, whether they're professional or amateur, whether they're adult or, or, or youth. It's very, very important. Why is it a priority right now? Why is it a priority right now? Yeah. Because, because what I'm saying is, is yeah. there? Do you recognize? Are you saying that there is a problem that has to be dealt with, and that's why it's gone to the I'm top saying, of the list? You know, I think with the advent of new medical technology and more of an awareness of what's going on, um, once you're aware of a situation, um, you're clearly you have an obligation and responsibility um, to address it, and, and that's what we're doing. But because there's more awareness, because of the medical advances, we're able to diagnose a little earlier if there's a problem. What are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward Getting to... Getting the CBC, the Grey Cup? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to the not entire. Not giving the CBC uh, the I'm <laughs> looking forward to the entire experience. I mean, there's, there's not one thing. It's I, I think this job was was it's a dream job for me. Um, it brings in all of my skill sets, and uh, you know, and with CBC, um, I've I've been involved in World Cups and Stanley Cups and and, and the Olympics. Oh. Um, this is this is another opportunity. Um, to do something that I really love. I love this country. I love the positive power of sport, and, and I love this game. So, um, so it's perfect. Nice to talk to you. We'll miss you. Well, thank you. It's a that. pleasure, but I'll be around. All right. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Jeffrey Orridge, the incoming commissioner of the Canadian Football League, thank you. Thank you. Okay.